The red zone is nothing new to Christchurch residents, but just how much has it changed from above? A new panoramic drone coverage taken by Rebuild Christchurch is now giving a unique perspective on what's happening and uh, changing across the city's rebuild. And joining me now is Dion Swiggs from Rebuild Christchurch. Dion, thanks for coming in today. Um, let's talk about what you've done. What's all, what's all this about? I mean, one of, the, one of our principles over since we established in 2010 has been to allow people to know what's going on in the recovery and, and engaging people. And this, I think, is another addition to that. It allows people to, to look at it when in their own time they can look at what's going on from above like we've started to do a lot of videos and things like that and I thought well what's another way people can actually engage in what's going on in their own time and, and, and these this new technology that's coming out with drones and, and all this kind of stuff is actually making this available. Absolutely and as you just said drone footage there's more and more of them everywhere and it's now getting uh, tighter restrictions as well. Did you have any problems when it came well, I've to done a, this? I've done a lot of flying so I've, I've done a lot of pilot tests as well so I've, I've, nice. I'm a, it's experience. okay for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> done the let's paperwork. Just, let's just talk about how long it's really taken I guess to put all these here because how many are there in total? So we've got 27 uh, now. We, we started with 24 and um, a couple of people over the last couple of days have said well what about this area, what about that area. So we, we added a couple such as Brooklyn's and Preston's just to show some other areas. Uh, they take around eight hours each so from flight planning to, to doing Photoshop and I didn't know how to use Photoshop until about <laughs> three, uh, probably about two months ago uh, so I had to learn how to do that but I really think this, uh, the investing that time for us in doing this is really really beneficial. I think over 100,000 or actually it's almost 150,000 people have viewed these or they've had 150,000 mm. views now. So. They're very, very uh, engaging for people and I think, as, as I said before, this is really important for people in Christchurch but also around the world to see what's going on here, to actually understand the challenges that we may be facing from above because at that helicopter level you can see things that you can't mm. see while you're immersed in doing the work. Absolutely, and I guess that's right, when you go out to places and you drive places you can see that, but then from a you know, height it's completely different and having this technology so available makes it easy, doesn't it? Yes, it does and I mean, and now, now we're getting the, the process a little bit more better as I learned Photoshop a little bit more. Mm. Uh, we can put a drone up anywhere, uh, do do that, uh, you know, take the images, process them and put, put whatever people want. And that means we're going to have a timeline. So that what you see now, uh, we'll, we'll be putting them in exactly the same places over the next couple of months and over the next few years, just to sort of show those differences. And some of the biggest areas of change are going to be probably the central city, like we've got the, uh, the one above the Justice and Emergency Precinct. Now that's going up really, really fast. So we might put something up another in another couple of weeks and you'll be able to see the change, well not in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months and you'll be able to see the changes there mm. and I think that's really cool and, and that allows people to sort of engage again and get a little bit more excited about this recovery. I was about to say it's quite an exciting process I guess as well. Let's just take a look at some of those images now on screen. So let's just talk, talk us where we're at here. Okay, so that's Bexley, so it's 100 metres above uh, the Bexley red zone so amazing to sort of think that there was a full community of houses only a few years yes. ago. Absolutely and then we've got here along the Beach. So New, Brighton New Brighton Beach. Yes. yes, New Brighton Breach. So uh, this is again we've we've focused on on the recovery and and the rebuild stuff, but it's really important to actually look at some of the nice things as well. And this is Brooklyn. So this we took over. Uh, that was yesterday. Yeah, um, and this is the new new lot you, you were yes, taking. So, wasn't so it? Yes. that was in Brooklyn. That's uh, I took that yesterday and shows that. And, these, and this is another. This is the thing, yeah, isn't it? And this is what I was going to try and explain before. That the panoramic it actually shows 360, doesn't it? Yes, really? it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, of you can go wherever, up and about and everywhere. I've had a wee bit of a play on it before, so it's, it looks quite exciting. Central city. Yep, that's the central city. So that's uh, taken a couple of weeks ago. That's looking over the uh, the cathedral, and you can zoom down and have a look at that. That one's over Latimer Square, and that's looking at the rebuild of the um, of the old uh, Christchurch Club there. Um, and then you can see the green frame starting to look. Green Framey, there's the uh, um, the bus exchange which was meant to open today but we're not sure when it's going to open. Uh, but you can kind of see the left, the stage two, but the right hand side where the buses are going in and out. This is a new subdivision, uh, this is Preston's, this, so it sort of shows the new of Christchurch, what's actually happening. In the distance you've got houses on the right, you've got the fences with no houses. And this is just another scenic one of uh, South Shore which is, you know, looks really cool and quite amazing. Is there other areas as well, obviously these pictures will keep going as well, we'll look at them as well, but is there other areas as well that you wanted to get out to as well, because you have 27 isn't it at the moment? Yeah I mean we'll, we'll keep going out, you know, people have said what about Sumner and Kaipoi and, and as I said before we added Brooklyn's and uh, Preston's in there yesterday and this one again, another, this was a, um, this is uh, in Horseshoe Lake, a community full of people once a couple of years ago mm, and it was really interesting that. just seeing that there's not, not a lot there. And that's the innovation precinct. So down oh, yes. on the uh, the right there, you can see uh, the uh, Vodafone building going up, oh, and yes, the Catman the right Do just beside it, and then the C1 Cafe.
Absolutely. And that's the Justice and Emergency Precinct. So oh, on the actual true, interactive yes. panoramic, so you can actually tilt down and actually have a zoom in and look at the uh, look at the actual structure. You can look right inside the building at the moment. What's been the response like from people that have um, you viewed it? What have they say? Well, a lot of people are talking about uh, you know saying to us or, or from the comments that we're seeing. Oh, they're looking, especially in the red zone ones. They're going. I used to live there. And, and this, that's where my house was and people are trying to look out for where they're living and so they're yeah. trying to find where they fit into the puzzle from above. Absolutely, and then this here is our Littleton. Littleton Port. So we're going to look at the, the rebuild and the recovery of Littleton Port because if on the other side you've got the port reclamation and we've got a panoramic view of that, that's a whole area at the port that's been, um, that's the CBD red zones. Uh, demolition rubble, so they're actually doing that big port reclamation there. Nice, there's a lot of variety in those photos mm. there as well, and as you said there's going to be more as well. So obviously over time you'll be more and more, more eager, to, how are you going to get it so it'll be in the exact same places to mirror it? Yeah, or? so each of the, uh, so we, we have drone GPS coordinates, so basically just type into the drone what the uh, the GPS coordinate is, at the, mm. what height it is, um, nice. all those are logged in the software, so we just it just goes, flies up and it takes the thing, I just take the photos, uh, each, each of them are around 40 to 50 photos, and each of them, it's generally a few more photos is good. Um, you need relatively okay weather, but the drone can sort of, you know, handle up to around 20, 30 k's of wind. But it's ideally having a nice day. Awesome! It's very exciting stuff, actually. Yeah, I think it's, it's very uh, impressive. Yeah. And, and as as technology moves on, and I think this is going to be the exciting part, we're really at a change of technology. Technology is advancing so fast. We're going to be able to have some of these uh, really new creative things. And I mean, we don't have all the answers, so I really think there's going to be some really awesome stuff that other people will probably go. You know, we can do something really cool, and I'd love to see those kind of things. Get those online, so people can engage and actually be part of. Christchurch's recovery. Absolutely, I can't wait to see the next lot. Thank you so much. Thanks. Dion Swiggs from Rebuild Christchurch. You can see that on their website, rebuildchristchurch.co.nz.